Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with Dale Collins of Tuckasegee Fly Shop. How you doing, Dale? Doing great, Marvin. Hope you are. As always, just trying to stay out of trouble, and uh, you got a time machine in Bryson City. It feels like it's November. Absolutely, man. We went back about six weeks in weather, um, and it's 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 been it's been pretty crazy. Um, you know, there's not a lot of folks up here. And um, I've been able to get out and personally fish a few times. And the topwater bite has just been amazing in the afternoons. And I look around and I have the river to myself. So it's, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. If you can get up here in these, these warm afternoons, definitely do it. Um, you know, lots, lots of topwater action going on on all the creeks and, um, and delayed harvest. So I would uh, definitely try to get on that game. Yeah, and we were talking, you know, before you started recording, too. The interesting thing is, you know, the DH water is actually fishing more like a regular old freestone. So the fish have actually kind of tuned into smaller dry flies and emergers. That's right. We're, we're fishing, you know, um, number 20 emergers and um, midges under, you know, something maybe we can see better. Um, if you need to fish, you know, maybe a Maybe if you have trouble seeing an 18 drop fly, fish it behind the stimulator, something you can see so that you're at least in the neighborhood. Um, but, you know, our water's very low. So, you know, we had a little over a half an inch of rain in the last system that moved through with all the strong wind and strong storms. Um, uh, but that, that sort of just came and went. Um, it didn't really help our water levels much. Uh, so make sure you're using the lightest tippet that you're comfortable fishing. So, like, I'm starting with 6X. And then if it's a slow bite there, uh, I'm going to change flies a few times. And if it's still slow, then I'll uh, pretty reluctantly go down to 7X. But, uh, you know, think, keep that in mind for sure when you're fishing is the water clarity. Yeah, thank goodness for Trout Hunter, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and so, you know, it's an interesting thing too, right? Because even though it's warmer and you're going to get, get some rain in a few days, but, you know, your bite window is still going to be kind of more of a winter bite window. So it's going to be kind of late morning to probably mid-late afternoon, right? That's right. I, I think it's uh, 11, 11 a.m. or so to 4. Um, you can almost, uh, you know, time it when the shade appears on the water. So when the sun goes behind the mountain um, and the water starts cooling off, um, it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go away. So um, I was fishing with uh, Chef Santiago Avilda there in Silva a few weeks back, and, you know, the sun hit the water, and the blooming olive started out as 20s, and the longer the sun was on the water, they went to 16, and then to 14, and then to 12, and then the shade came on the water, and then they went back down to the 20s, and then that and then was done after about five minutes of being on the shade. So, um, you know, really try to spend as much time as you can on holes that are in the sun, and with that low, um, with that low water, uh, they're gonna, it's going to be very um, temperature uh, reflective. For sure. Yeah, and that also means probably to if you're going to fish in the park to fish the low elevation stuff, and to your point, look for the sunny spots. Absolutely, I wouldn't go if you fish the Aconaluffy. I would not go up too far up 441 from the visitor center. Uh, probably would stay below Smokemont there. Um, Deep Creek, I'd stay down in the campground and picnic area. Um, the Tuckasegee is fine, but uh, you know stuff on the Western North Carolina fly fishing trails. You know, stay stay down in, in the valley, uh, West Fork of the Pigeon, uh, that watershed, it's fishing really well, but, um, you know, again, pay attention to the, to the sun. And that's, that's an interesting one. We've, we have seen the evening hatch there kick off. Um, and the fish have not been really selective on what drop light you throw. They're just kind of looking at the uh, silhouette and taking advantage of it on, on that delayed harvest. Yeah, well, there you go. And you know, folks, we love questions on the Articulate Fly. You can email them to us or send them to us on our Facebook or Instagram page. And if we use your question, I will send you some Articulate Fly swag and we will be having a drawing sometime in January, right? For some cool stuff from the shop. And, you know, Dale, before I let you go, I know, uh, you know, it's that retail holiday grind going on. You've got three locations. You want to let folks know about ours um locations and i know you you told me before that you're happy just to have a fully stocked shop so you're not running a lot of specials but you know people always forget that it's a great time to buy a gift certificate for a guide trip absolutely we we do gift certificates uh over the phone certainly and we can get those mailed to you um and we also have an online store so uh you can find that at tuckflyshop.com 
And, um, you know, we're going to be open for you to come to uh, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, that's going to be Monday through Saturday. So we are closed on Sundays. Um, and uh, that's going to be downtown Waynesville at 110 Depot Street, 530 West Main Street, Silva, and then 3 Depot Street over in Bryson City. Yeah, well, there you go. And, you know, folks, this will be our last Western North Carolina fishing report for the year. So I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in tight lines. Merry Christmas, Dale. You too, Marvin.